All right, what's up? Welcome back for another recap. Today, we are finishing red. We're down about a little over 100 bucks today. Um, HNRA was the one that got me red. Very tough to trade that one. Very choppy, very um, erratic price action, if I say so myself. ICCM didn't do much trading on that. RDHL made about 100 bucks back on that one. Um, so with the size that I'm pushing to uh, today and yesterday, um, this is a small, a small red day, nothing um, to be concerned about. So after yesterday, I've only given back about uh, one fifth of my profit. Um, so, you know, nothing, nothing too, too concerning. Um, just wasn't really my day, I guess. Um, RDHL was probably the best ticker um this one was very nice um i thought hnra would been would have been the one that was going to make a big move but um yeah it ended up chopping around let's go over hnra first since this one just had a lot of trouble with um so timing this dip and rip was tough down here i was able to catch like maybe six cents off the low here on thousand shares but I just kept getting chopped up in this area. Um, this candle specifically kind of chopped me up a lot. Tried buying a pullback, pulled back a little bit too much for my liking, and kind of got chopped up again in this area. And then also trying to buy the time the breakouts, I was just getting chopped up for small losses. Um, and that was really it for, for HNRA. I didn't really trade much after that. I think here, maybe I tried to go for a breakout trade here as well. And just again, look at how choppy that is. Um, and so that didn't really turn out to be the best uh, ticker for me. We did see that red to green later in the day. Um, I think I was was able to take a couple trades on this, but it's still very very erratic price action. Um, I was able to get <clears throat> a couple small green trades I think on this one um, at the end of the day. And we can take a look here at. Um, RDHL this was this was the one that so we were actually trading this yesterday yesterday this was one of the movers and then today this is where it really started to open up um, once we started breaking highs then once we broke 150 this thing just started to go on a tear um, I did not buy into this hole I didn't trade it at anywhere right here um, we unhalt this is like a 30 minute halt by the way we unhalt this is a 33% resumption, gap resumption, which is actually pretty, it's fucking insane. That's insane. The 33% um, resumption is really, really nice. Um, great to see. Uh, this first candle was really tough to trade just because it, it was just bouncing around so fast. Like by the time I even hit the buy button, it wasn't at the price that I wanted to buy at. And I did actually, actually take a couple of losses there on the pullback. I uh, was able to get a couple green trades on there. Um, and then this specific trade here was actually the best um, the best trade. Let me pull that up on the archive. But this was the best trade, I think, today. Uh, let's see. And I should have went in on heavier size. I was only in 1,000 shares, and I cut half for break even. But we'll pull this up. So this specific trade here was this is probably the best trade. I for me, I think this is the best trade that I that I took today. But we got some support around two. We're kind of consolidating. We're not like flushing straight back down yet. Uh, so that's always a good sign that there's some some support holding this stock up. So we have a whole dollar support area. We have the nine EMA. And so we're thinking we could see a possible bounce off of that area. We're gonna see what happens under $2. So we test $2, we're holding, we do break below. And right here, we're gonna break below $2 and boom, we're chipping away $2. We break below $2 and we see a nice stack of buyers here at 199. And usually if this stock was weak, it would flush all the way down to 180, 170. Um, but because we held so well, I started buying into 199, I added into confirmation 
but I sold that last bit at for a break even, um, and sold the rest at. And I'm selling the rest there at uh, for maybe eight. That was like a 14, 15 cent profit. It was a 14 or 15 cent, 15 cent profit there. On um, big share size, that could have made my day. I could have been back green. Um, and I sold the last part at 216. So from 199, from entry to, to the last exit was 199 to 216. So that's almost a 10 cent profit on that bounce. Uh, that was the best trade that I took today. Wasn't enough to get back green. Um, my deepest in the red was about 250. I got that down to 115. So, you know, not, not bad. Trading definitely a bigger share size. Um, so, uh, relatively speaking, you know, I can make 100 bucks real quick um, on, a, on a, just a small base hit trade. And, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not too worried. But uh, RDHL, that was probably uh, the best ticker of the day. We started continuing that consolidation, and we had that nice sort of W pattern, double bottom there. Uh, we don't quite break the high there. So we have sort of like that upper end of that resistance point there. And when we do break, you're going to see that it flashes back down. And you can see that there's sellers in that area, but we hold support very, very well. Um, we can see this in a second. Yeah, so right when we break this candle here, the previous one-minute candle, now we're looking at, that's another one-minute high there. Um, so we break that candle, and it's like, now this is now we're getting into territory where and we could start to run but we we reject pretty we reject on high volume there lots of volume going through but the bottom is holding see how the bottom's holding and the tape is just flying that means that there's someone soaking those orders at 225 and because we hold that level so much that would have been a great entry for to break at 250 and we reclaim that wick super fast right when we break that the top of that wick we pop up 10 cents into the highs into a halt up that would also would have been another great trade but i was sleeping on that one um, and then at the open of this resumption um we had a decent resumption um so that dip and rip the dip and rip set up here on the resumption did work out well again on rdhl um and I, I actually started scaling back my size at this point because it was getting later in the day. And I, I mistimed that dip. Got in at 67. Terrible entry. And overall, um, my quality of trading was definitely, I would say, about a C. Um, I didn't sleep too well last night. Uh, didn't sleep too well, too well last night. So that probably contributed to... Um, my lack of focus on the day. So I was like missing my entries and it causing me to fumble. Um, that definitely had something to do with it. Also, HNR and HNR, HNA, ugh, HNRA was just so tough to read and very choppy. And I go into the dip there on RDHL. But yeah, at this point, I'm trading small size. Um, just trying to minimize the loss. I mean, I'm, I'm trading more defensively at this point here. Um, now that we're almost at 10:30, but yeah, if we can take a look at the stats, still somewhat hot day. I would say RD DHO is it's still like reflecting a hot market. So down 120 after commissions. Um, you know, my accuracy was still good. My risk reward was slightly off. Um, that probably was due to my lack of focus and lack of timing those entries. Um, average position costs slightly lower than yesterday, but right around where I want it to be, you know, a thousand minimum. Um, and yeah, so. I didn't really have any home run, home run winners today, but it uh, doesn't mean I didn't manage my risk well. I definitely managed my risk well. I didn't have any oversized losers. And, um, you know, today is just another day to learn from. You know, learn from your mistakes. Um, 
it's good that I didn't break my rules. I was a little bit, a little bit more groggy today than I was uh, yesterday. So I think the main focus is just going to be getting some rest. Make sure I get a full night's sleep tonight, and then wake up tomorrow nice and refreshed and ready to trade again. Because the market seems like it's given some solid opportunity again. Um, RDHL, you know, nice move from 110 all the way up to 260. And then now we're breaking highs again after hours, so looks good. Uh, but that's it. Short recap today. Hope you guys got green. If you guys did, um, hit that like button for me. Hit that subscribe button if you're a new new viewer. Check out the links on the description. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and come back tomorrow for the pre-market pump. Yes, I'm still doing pre-market pumps. Right around 8.30 I'm going to shoot for is the live stream for analyzing the pre-market watch list and just kind of uh, interacting with the community. So I hope to see you guys there tomorrow for the pre-market pump. I'll catch you guys later. All right. Peace.